What's up guys? Lars the Crawler King here and today we're headed back down to Trail Creek Raceway to go chase some Ultra 4 vehicles with the FPV drone. I was already down here once before shooting some video for a client and they were so stoked on the video I made them that they got me to come back and film again this year. On top of that, I had another person want a video done so I'm going to be filming two people this year. It's super cool that people are starting to notice that my videos are really awesome and they're getting me to come out and shoot stuff like this. I couldn't be more excited to come down here again. Even though this is going to be a ton of fun, there's still a lot at stake. I brought two drones, one as a backup just in case I crash because when you're out there on the racetrack, you've only got 12 laps to be able to film your climb. So I have no time for repairs and I'm just going to have to hot swap it if I do crash. I'm super excited to get flying though, so I'll see you guys at the track. Alrighty guys, we made it. Finally here at the track. Just waiting for a client to show up. I gotta get things prepped so I can get a couple of shots of him arriving on site. Then I gotta go see the race director so I can plan tomorrow's route on the map that I brought. I'm super excited to get shooting, so let's get going. Now we gotta get the main camera rig set up. We're gonna use this. Sunshade, HDMI, monitor mount. Do this on here, right like that. Take one, shot three, and action. Okay, so start is still yeah, so right start. here. Yep, and then up over the jump. Okay, right there. Okay. Take off. Number three, we basically moved to four, so I need to go to number four. And yeah, then I'll just launch from right here. That'll work out perfect. Because I gotta find the fastest route to walk, right? Yeah, this would probably be the best spot. Okay, so that's number five sorted out. I think this is gonna be really promising. The only thing is that incline over there is still blocked. It looks like Jordan Heller a little bit. Alrighty guys, we got all the action cameras set up on Jordan's car, so here's where I ended up mounting them. We got one here on the helmet. We got a 360 camera, the baseball board, and the driver. What else is that? Action camera facing the rear shock here. As well, we got another GoPro capturing the cockpit view and a little bit of the front side of the car. All right, so now that that's all configured, I'm gonna go do the exact same thing, but now this time we're gonna do it on the other client's car. All right, guys, Corey's car has got all the action cameras mounted up on it. Let me show you where I put all of them. Like another one mounted in the middle. And then we got one more mounted on the back roll bar looking at the side of the car. Quick shot of you putting that steering wheel on there just one sec here. And three, two, one, action. All right. Drone's good to go. Alrighty guys, the main race is finally over. I gotta say, holy crap was that action packed. There was just so much going on. Uh, I did manage to get to every spot and I just missed number five position way on the far end, but it's only a straight stretch, so not that much interesting going on over there. I did get the bull, I got the main jumps, I got the ski jump, I got it all and it looks awesome.
My name's Corey Johnson, pipe fitter, welder, mechanic. I've been racing for the last eight years. Started in a Jeep, did more of an outlaw style racing, then went into the Ultra 4 style about four or five years ago. I race Ultra 4 because I love the speed, the endurance, the off-road capabilities. The Ultra 4 cars have proven to be the best all around. Ultra 4 means to me the best cars, with the best drivers. I feel before you win on the track, you need to win in the shop. Pre-race prep is essential to success in Ultra 4. The biggest success is winning against the best cars and the best drivers, over and over again. This takes an extreme amount of skill, mechanical knowledge, stamina, positive attitude, mental and emotional fortitude, confidence, teamwork, and luck. The feeling of driving an ultra far car is like nothing else. I've done some amazing things in my life, but driving the ultra far car is still on the top of the list. There's nothing better. The most important lesson I've learned as an ultra four racer is it's not how fast you can drive, it's how slow you can drive to win. COVID really messed things up with the racing program. We're hoping the border opens so we can go back to the States. That's where the real racing begins. If not, we will continue to promote the sport in Canada and continue to have fun. Finishing an Ultra 4 race can be bittersweet, depending on how much damage you did to your car. But at the end of the race, you feel relieved and an overwhelming sense of pride because it doesn't happen too often. I want the competitors to know for next year that we are ready. My name is Jordan Simpson and I've been racing UTVs for three years now. I'd like to take my racing career down into the States and hopefully get into the Ultra 4 Series. I'll achieve my racing career goals by just keeping up with good driving, picking good lines, having the support of friends, family, and hopefully sponsors by my side. I've always been into off-roading, uh, always building buggies and trucks and whatnot, and I've always wanted to get into something a little bit quicker, uh, faster, and the UTV class is perfect for that. I've got a 2019 Polaris Turbo S. It's got a uh, stock, stock drive train, um, it's got method bead locks, cage works cage. Uh, the first year was pretty good, it was pretty straightforward and smooth. Last year we had uh, my rear shock seals blew out, so that was pretty tough. This year we spent a lot more time working on the car through the winter, uh, a lot more preventative maintenance, uh, put hands on every bolt, and just kind of went over it with fine tooth comb.
Uh, running the track backwards this year is a little different. Uh, track is pretty tough, but it held together and we ended up finishing, so that's pretty good. A little bit of slippery, like the rain really, um, it would hold dust down a little bit, just enough to kind of get the top a little slick, and then uh, dust was still kicking up, so the terrain was just a little all over the place. But. Um, for next race, I'm hoping to uh, have a little bit more beefier parts. Uh, we've been a couple, a little bit in the front end there, but other than that, everything's pretty good. Just gonna hit it hard again next year. 0865, one hour, 44 minutes, 18 seconds, and first move side by side. Alrighty guys, that wraps up yet again another awesome weekend here at Trail Creek Raceway. Super stoked that my clients got the win in their own classes. If you guys want to see more action from here in the future, make sure to subscribe. Don't forget to be fancy and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!